Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer. And the question I got a few minutes ago, actually I got this question twice today. And the question is this, how do I create a LinkedIn company page? And the first question was a little bit more detailed. She wanted to know, do I need to create another account in order to create a LinkedIn page? The answer is to that question is definitively no. Everything you do on LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile, your LinkedIn company pages, showcase pages, events, groups, going live, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you do through one LinkedIn profile or LinkedIn account, the account that you create that represents the person called you. One profile and everything you do is through there. Now that being said, you can create a showcase page, showcase page and a company page, and you don't even need to be relevant to it. You don't even need to be connected to it. So you can create it and not have your name associated with it in any way. Now, the second question was, how do I create a company page? Well, let me show you the very basic steps. You go to work, click on the work, and then you scroll to the bottom of the list, and there it is, create a company page. When you click on that, it brings up the option for a small business, medium, large, showcase, or an educational institution. So when you go to create, and I'm not going to go through all the steps here, but when you go to create these, here's some things you're going to need to be aware of. Let me go to my page and show you what you need to be aware of. This is my Burris Consulting Company page. Um, and so here's some things you need to be aware of. First of all, you can create a banner image. This is the banner image. I click this pencil, you type, LinkedIn says, make it 1128 by 191. So create a nice image, and I need to do some work on that and update it, and I will do that. Second thing is, if you click down here, this bu button here, this gives you to all the other primary A areas of what's the, the, the top part of your company page. Page info with your logo, that needs to be a square image. And by the way, you can no longer upload a GIF. I have a GIF, but you can't, it won't let you do it anymore. Your company name, just your name, the company name. And then the tagline, you can have 120 characters in the tagline. Then look down here, buttons. You get, it says buttons there, but I think it's only one button. Okay, there's my custom button that asks people to go to my, uh, my company website. And then there's the follow um, and the register. The register is actually going to take you to this website, okay? If I really wanted to do that, what I really should do is make that learn more, okay? And save that. Now, that's buttons. Again, one button. Overview. This is where you have 2,000 characters where you can write the story about your company focused on your target audience. Telling your target audience, or what I refer to as your most important viewer, what this business does for them. Okay? Make that, let me repeat that. Make this text all about what does your business do for your target audience. Don't make it about your history. Don't make it about your legacy and your ex multiple number of generations. Make it about your target audience. Then you have your website URL. You know, check that box if you don't have one. Select your industry. These are the same industries that are relevant to uh, the personal profiles. Size of your company, privately held or publicly held, the business phone number, the year founded, and then you can have up to 20 specialties. So these are the 20 keywords or phrases that are highly relevant, again, to your most important viewer, your target audience for this company. The next section is your locations. If you have multiple locations, you can list those addresses. You can actually have full-blown addresses here. I just decided that because I don't have brick and mortar, I just list the primary areas where I have offices. Hashtag, you have up to three hashtags relevant to your business and most importantly, relevant to your target audience, your most important viewer, ideal client. And then if you have groups that you've created 
that are, again, focused on helping, serving, leading, guiding, coaching your target audience, then you can list those groups here. And the last section in this area is if you do have multiple languages, you can add another language. And when you add another language, you're going to have to get the content that's on your primary language website uh, translated to upload it to that website. It doesn't automatically translate. While we're looking at the administrative view of my company page, I'll show you that. So content for content suggestions, you can cre uh, create an audience filtered by all LinkedIn members in specific industries, specific locations, job functions, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can add keywords, and I haven't updated this lately, so I've got to relaunch it to update. Then I'm gonna add keywords that are highly relevant to my target audience, and then LinkedIn's algorithms will find content based on the filters I do, and then when I hit the share button, I can share this content to my company page. But again, in order to make this work, you gotta be very purposeful about the filters that you use here so that you get the right kind of content. And again, I haven't done this in a while. I've gotta update it. You'll see under analytics, I can see my visitors, uh, the uh, activity on my post or my updates, and I can see you know my follower change and, and growth. If it doesn't tell me the names of the followers, it may, hopefully that'll come back, back one of these days. And then under activity, I can see when people mention my company, comment on my company post, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, then go back to home. One last thing to show you on a company page is I'm, as the admin, this is what I see. Also as an admin, you'll see that I have the ability to invite people to follow my company. I don't know why it's called, well, invite my connections to follow my company. I can do a, a, a promoted post or an ad through there post a job, create a showcase page, add new admins, update my URL, or deactivate the page or get help. And the last thing to show you is as an admin, I'm in admin view. If I wanna view my page as a member, a regular member, member, click on this. And now I'm viewing my company page as a regular LinkedIn member. If I wanna go back to admin, right there it is. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer. I hope this quick little primer on how to create a LinkedIn company page is helpful for you.